Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Yogg's Cast Game Jam 2021. This was a game jam that had the theme of opposites, and that's about it. There weren't really any rules or restrictions or anything like that. I'm playing all of the games for a minute each, 10 per video, links to individual games in the description so you can check them out further, and all my info also in the description so you can follow me on Twitter or support this content. The best way to support this content is through Patreon, which allows me to continue to record Game Jam games, so if you'd like to do so, there is a link below. Let's get started. Toddy. We're playing Toddy, Toddy and dance. the Dice of the Unreliable Narrator. How's it going? I feel like I need to know more about the Yogg's cast before I play these games. Where's my boy? <laughs> ben! Toddy! Ah! How are you doing? How are you doing, Ben? I'm good. It feels like it's been years since I've seen you. Literal years, Ben! <laughs> wow. Happy hunt time, Toddy. Cheers! Cheers! Wonderful. Welcome to the tavern. Welcome to the tavern. Join Toddy, Toddy in helping him recite his epic quest across the old world in search of his greatest foe, Kazra One Eye. He's the infamous dice of the unreliable narrator, the mystical dice that holds a marin of opposite possibilities on its duplicate faces to remind Toddy of how many enemies he fought and encourage him in, onto even bolder embellishments. I'm gonna just play. Alright, so that's me. Yeah. This is it, Ben in the farmstead. That was that I was set upon by a group of bandits. The idiots thought they could get the jump on me. Ha, fools. Now let me just get out my dice to help me remember the details. Hang on, Toddy, are those the dice of the unreliable narrator? Uh, maybe. The mystical dice that holds a myriad of the opposite possibilities on its duplicate faces? That could be the one. There does seem to be a bit more on there than a normal dice. Well, Toddy, let's hear your tale, but I have my suspicions. We need to drink beer, apparently, as well. Right, there were... Hang on, Toddy. How about you roll this dice of clarity to jog your memory? Yes, that'll help me remember how many foes I faced. These are some odd dice, aren't they? They do seem odd. Thinking back, there was definitely five bandits. They were pretty jacked, too. Really? Just five bandits, Toddy? That doesn't sound like much of a challenge. Not for you, anyway. Were there not more than that? Oh. Ha, uh, Ben, do you really think that only five bandits would give me trouble? Lower. Nah, uh, nah, this is a bank it. Those five, I bet those five stupid bandits never stood a chance. I thought I was gonna have to fight them, but it turns out I just needed to make more decisions. I think this is an interesting concept. Next. We're playing Polar Weird House. Tiny Grumples. Polar is destroying our way of life. Our reign has turned the spirit of giving into a sham of commerce, commerce, consumerism and sales. If there's any hope of saving Christmas, you must ruin every order that comes into the warehouse. If we upset the customers by giving them the opposite of what they ordered, then perhaps Christmas can be saved. Please, Tiny, the hope of all of kind rests on your shoulders. Alright, so this person wants heartbreak. Let's give them love. I do not have actual time to do this, though. Alright, can we just restart? Wrap the gift first. I don't know how. Drop. How do I drop my gift? I really want to like this game. So badly. I really want to like this game. I've got, I've got heartbreak. So, like, I would love to give that to someone. But I need to wrap it up first. But I don't know how. Space to pick up. And eventually space will just get rid of. But space will not drop. Do I need to select them first? No idea. I like this concept though. Next. We're playing Let's Swap Worlds. It's a co-op game for two players. I'm only one human being, um, unfortunately, but we'll be ah, trying it to the best of our abilities. Oh, we swapped. We literally swapped where these people are normal. Oh, I don't know if I want to go that way. Oh no, dogs. Oh no, the dogs still hurt me. I thought maybe if I swapped worlds, the dogs would hurt me less. Not a gem, though. Oh, now it's fire. Water was good. Wow. That world's hard. This is a challenging game. The world's not procedurally generative, so you could just learn how the world plays, and 
that might help you. I feel like our jumps are a bit lacking though, like I feel like we need double jump for a lot of these. Next, we're playing Out Upon the Ice. Sensibility, Sympathy, Census, Sustenance. I don't know how to move. Oh wait, there we go. So I'm kind of moving forward by just pressing the up arrow. Sustenance is not doing good. If you look around here, uh, I wish I understood more how to interact with things, but there is not a lot of information on this game. It looks like it could be a really harsh, minimalistic survival game. I wonder if that's what they were going for. But at the moment I feel like I'm just going to die because I don't have a lot of sustenance and I don't know how to interact with anything. Interesting start though to a game. The world's very twisty. Next. We're playing Jingle Brawls. This looks like another two player game to be honest. I do not have a second player or a controller to play with. Um, however, the graphics look pretty cool. Yeah, we need a controller. Don't have one. Graphics look pretty cool, and judging by the game page, I guess we can take a look at. It's a little game, like an arena fighting, snowball, present collecting, Christmas game with these maybe dogs, maybe cats. Unsure. Looks interesting. There's ice that's slippery, snow that has more friction, and deep snow, which is heavy, so I guess that slows people down. Next. We're playing Jumping Opposites. Space to jump. These glowing circles are checkpoints. Alright, so that's over there, actually. Wow, our jump is hard. Like, we're tall, and our jump is really strange. Okay. I don't know, that's quite the gap, but don't worry, you can use your magnetic orb bring the platform closer. So I need to be red. Oh no. What's this? Maybe that's good. Looks about halfway. Nope. It's fine. That's fine. Oh, the platform remembered where it was. Alright, maybe there. Yeah! And now it all tracks... Uh, detract? Can we stand on it and detract it? Oh, no, I guess not. Interesting. Next. We're playing Bubble Bouncer. Bubble? Bobble? I don't know how to say. Shoot, cancel, shoot, shoot number. They always uh, shoot opposite direction. Oh, this is kind of like pool or like billiards, right? Beautiful. So we have a number of shots. And we're always. Should have done it earlier. Ah, we're always uh, shooting the red one. That's fine. I'm glad they bounce around enough. That one went out of the screen. How am I meant to do that? Might have been a bug there. How do we restart? Oh, this is what back level looked like? I didn't really want to go back level. There we go. Hopefully this time the green. I wish we could pull back more. Uh, but we can't pull back further than the wall, if that makes sense. Oh my goodness. We're not doing very well on this level. Now we've got a moving package. <laughs> That's fun. Next. We're playing Frank's Amazing Bread Farm. I want an amazing bread farm. Click to throw ducks into the pond for hungry the hungry bread. Oh, we shouldn't throw. There shouldn't be bread to feed to ducks. You can have a number of ducks you have above your head. Interact buildings by stepping on pressure plates to spawn bread. Alright, so you're not actually meant to give ducks bread, just for the record. We feed ducks grapes. And that's very good for us. Alright, let me pick you back up because you're not in the right spot. It's about two. And there's weird bread monsters. Maybe because they're bread monsters, like, that's the issue. Bakery. Get more bread. Okay. I guess we get more of you. I like that I'm a weird alien creature. I 
Am I supposed to be throwing them like at the bread? I, the bread is eating the ducks, actually. Okay, more bread. Okay. Wild. I don't know if you can feed ducks to bread. They seem happy about it, so maybe that is the proper way of things. Need more bread. More, more bread. I mean more, I mean four grams. So we only have three point. Oh, Alright, we have four now, so I'm gonna throw in these ones. Boop, boop. Alright, now we can get more bread. Awesome. There's upgrades here. Oh, we should have been getting these the whole time. Cool. Great, great chat. Let's get some ducks. Duck. Duck. Alright. What a strange game. Next. We're playing Polars? This looks like a big cracked mirror. A broken mirror is an omen of, bodily, of bloody bad luck. I'm a little ghost. I was very fond of this mirror, but now it won't even show me my own reflection. But it's not like anything can be helped. So am I going to go to the shop? In the afternoon, I went looking for a new mirror. I had a budget in mind. I stumbled upon a sign that said, used stuff. It took me a second. Then I stormed inside hoping to find what I needed. It wasn't so long until... I found it. A beautiful vintage mirror I can bring home. Looks good. I set it up in the same evening and had a cup of cocoa resting in my hand. I was very pleased. Little did I know... Oh, well, there's a person stuck in the mirror. Little did I know that my mirror is haunted by a human. This is an interesting story. It's really nice, like, drawings and writing. Next. We're playing surveillance. Stay, stay, stay in view. So it's the opposite of a stealth game. Stealth game. Where you want to always be in sight. Which is my kind of game. Not going to lie. I'm not good at stealth games. Please refrain from moving government property. Oh, well. Ah, oh, okay. Alright, so let's see how long we can last. So maybe this one. Ah, okay, there we go. And then we might be able to, like, grab this. Yeah, look at this. We're great. We're gonna stay hidden forever. Well, in sight, actually. We're currently experiencing some power outages. Why is that area red? Oh, there's no power there. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. One, two, boop. No, I, was, I, I had it. No, I don't think I'm fast enough. This is a fun game, though. Next. We're playing Breaking Elf. It's a two-player game, although there's only one of me, so I'm so sorry. You'll have to put up with one of me playing a two-player game. I hit play. There we go. Oh, do I need a controller? I'm ready. Yeah, I need a controller for this game. Okay, so we're not going to be able to play it. That's fine. It looks fun, though. I feel like ugh, there was a different picture on like the preview image. But I like the look of these little elves. It looks like they get to break toys or something. Yeah, they're breaking everything in Santa's workshop. So just working together. Um, to, well, working together, working and trying to break everything. And I guess it'd be against it. Whoever broke the most would win. It looks really cute, though. What an interesting game. Next. We're playing cross cart. I'm going to play one player because, again, only one of me. How do I move forward? There we go. Hmm. So W turns you. And Q moves you forward. All right, and E goes left. Got it. This is fine. I feel like I'm controlling the player on the top. 
But I don't know if I'm meant to be controlling both of them sort of at the same time. I quite like the graphic style. It looks like it could be a fun racing game. This bottom character has definitely completed the rounds because it's got two out of two. But, or the top character has completed the round, but the bottom one has not. So I feel like maybe I should have been also the bottom one, but I did hit one player, so who knows. Movement's really interesting. Next. We're playing Let's Swap Worlds. Sounds good, let's do it. Oh, I think we've played like a version of this. Maybe they uploaded it twice. Yeah, because when we switch, then the baddies aren't bad and the water's fine. I don't think, yeah, we couldn't get far, really. Because our jump just doesn't feel high enough. Yeah, and then suddenly there's nothing to be on. Go this way, maybe? Yeah, there's a heart. That'd be great. Ah, <laughs> ghost, don't, don't notice me. Ah, uh, maybe. Nope, there's still dead in there. Hmm. I don't know. Next. We're playing flipped. Alright, A and D to move. Shift to flip. Alright, left shift to flip. Okay. And space to jump. So we can go on purple, and then we have to flip. So we're like a little warrior looking person and also a little princess. Ah, oh, I, I did it too early. Okay, so warrior, princess, we're caught. Da, da, da. This is tricky. I feel like just because where left shift is. There we go. This is a cute game though. And this is actually the last game entered in this jam. So I hope you enjoyed this little compilation video series. Thank you so much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Bye.